we can also use the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance between two points in space, not just in a plane. And that's our sixth and final application of the Pythagorean theorem. Let's imagine a point x units along the x-axis, y units along the y-axis, and z units along the z-axis. So its coordinates are x, y, z. We want to know the distance from the origin to this point. We'll find it helpful to imagine a box having x, y, and z as side lengths. So what we want to know is the length of the 3D diagonal from one corner of the box to the opposite. We'll come up with a general equation to solve this problem by applying the Pythagorean theorem twice. First, we'll imagine this right triangle whose short sides we already know. Using the Pythagorean theorem, we'll be able to determine this diagonal. Then, we'll use that diagonal to analyze this right triangle, whose hypotenuse is the length we want to solve for. Since one of the points is the origin, delta x, delta y, and delta z will simply be the x, y, and z coordinates, respectively. But in general, delta x will mean the difference between the x coordinates, just like in TR-11 for the distance between points in a plane. So we'll label the first hypotenuse, the light blue diagonal, d. So by the Pythagorean theorem, we have d squared equals delta x squared plus delta z squared. I won't take the square root of both sides yet to keep the left term in the equation as d squared. You'll see why in just a second. Now let's look at the right triangle having d and delta y as short sides. The hypotenuse, which I'll label f to remind us that it's the final answer, equals the square root of d squared plus delta y squared. We already know that d squared is delta x squared plus delta z squared, so let's substitute that equality into the second equation, and we get f squared equals the sum of the three squared deltas. So f equals the square root of this sum. Notice that this is only different than the equation for two dimensions by the addition of the delta z squared term inside the radical. Let's work out an example problem. Will a slender rod, 24 inches long, fit in a box measuring 5 inches by 8 inches by 20 inches? This is equivalent to asking if the diagonal of the box is greater than or equal to 24 inches. If so, then the rod will fit. All of our deltas are simply the measurements of the box, so the equation for the diagonal becomes square root of quantity 5 inches squared plus 8 inches squared plus 20 inches squared. This is the square root of 25 square inches plus 64 square inches plus 400 square inches. The square root of the sum, 489 square inches, is 22.1 inches. The 24 inch rod is longer than this diagonal, so no, the rod will not fit inside the box. TR-12X has a few more space distance problems. The next video, TR-13, introduces the trigonometric ratios.